Jeez, uh, how the heck do you put this thing on? Ah! All right, ladies, listen up! <clears throat> because of high demand, I decided today that I'm going to be filling you in on some tips that will help you recognize the simple yet masculine gaze of a man flirting with you. As a male myself, I can guarantee you with ease that these facts are foolproof. Sort of. Soon I will make you a master at the art of flirtation so that you can quickly analyze any flirty situation to your benefit. Disclaimer! Global warming is real. Second disclaimer! I can't guarantee that every single tip I'm gonna have in this video will be 100% accurate for every situation you find yourself in, so take this advice with a grain of salt because Papa Spicy is cooking up a meal that you're gonna wanna try out. <laughs> see, see. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'd like to show you my Lego collection. Pretty nice, right? It's a little boat with two people on it. Perhaps they're rivals or even lovers. But one may never know. I worked on it all day and I'm just so proud. Huh? Oh, oh, right. The, the tips. Sorry. <laughs> In the vast crazy jungle, today we're gonna be taking you on a trip as we explore, searching for the man. An interesting species known for its muscles, charisma, and PUBG skills. Okay, look, I'll just put this out right now. Us guys, we're not that complicated and we tend to easily display signs of affections towards girls we like. However, some of us tend to have a bit more trouble either showing that or displaying the right signs that we're flirting, so let me just jump right into it. <laughs> Tip number one, the smile. The smile of a man, sometimes creepy but usually genuine, can be a sure sign of telling if the dude you're either crushing on or avoiding has feelings for you. Look at that guy's smile as he speaks to that girl. How adorable. A sure sign of affection. When a guy smiles at you while you talk to one another, it's a gesture of friendliness, warmth, and kindness. And when you see a big fat grin on that guy's face when you talk to him, we'll make it even more apparent. Remember that smiling can just be a form of being polite as well to not come off as hostile or anything. So be sure to only assess the situation accordingly and keep an eye out for more signs. Tip number two. He asks if you're single. I mean, how does this not look obvious? In fact, I just want to point out this is more of or less a sign of flirting on both sides of the spectrum, because if anyone asks if you're single or not, all well, depending on the context, more or less usually means they'd like to know if you're potentially free to be a part of a relationship. And no, when a doctor asks if you're single, they're not interested in you. Context is always important. Tip number three, the lean. When a guy who's flirting with you leans or turns towards your direction, it usually is a clear sign that he's interested in you and focused on you during the conversation. This is especially true during conversations in big groups. Similar to the tips I gave in the other flirting video I did, if someone's feet is turned towards you during a conversation, it is a sheer sign that they are at least interested in what you have to say. Tip number four, the touch. Now, of course, I mean the touch in a non-creepy way. Kind of like when somebody makes a joke and laughs while putting their hand on your shoulder or giving you a high five. When a guy initiates some sort of touch with you, he is essentially trying to give you a sense of comfort by forming a type of connection with you in a physical response. This, of course, should only be tolerated if you're into it. But if not, it is obviously your choice to let the person know you don't feel comfortable with them doing that. However, like all things, context is key here, so if things seem harmless and fun, then go with it. Tip number five, the offering. Ladies, I'm about to give you a piece of knowledge that has been passed down generation to generation. With this specific tip midway through this video here, I shall guide you on the true path of flirtiness while with a man who is also a gamer. If a guy is playing games with you and offers you to play any online competitive game on his profile, risking his stats and position in any ranking is... 
true love. Use this tip wisely, ladies, for any gamer dude you might be with is surely flirting with you if he does this with if he does this one thing. So keep an eye out. Tip number six, the blush. I feel as if this is probably a little obvious, but I'll include it anyways. If you ever notice a guy blushing from, say, a compliment you perhaps gave him, or even a kind gesture like a hug or even make jokes around him, and he happens to get a little red in the face, he obviously has his guard down for you and cares for what you have to say. Blushing can come and go pretty quick though, so be sure to have a quick eye for some of that blushiness. Tip number seven, he gives you his undivided attention when speaking to you. If you're having a conversation with a guy and he's literally giving you those puppy eyes while keeping track and paying attention to everything you say like a dog waiting for you to toss his chew bone, I can assure you there is a good sign that he's interested in you. Not necessarily flirting, but this is a must when it comes to assessing the overall situation to collect enough information on if this guy is flirting with you or not. Tip number eight, nervousness. Now this is a tip that is quite the case for most guys. We get nervous around girls we like. We'll get awkward. We'll maybe say something that comes off as kind of uncomfortable or strange, and we're constantly feeling judged by the girl we like, even if she's not doing that, but that's just how a lot of guys are. If you can tell this guy is nervous, but you're digging him and you're also nervous, maybe be the reason to break that tension and get more comfortable with him. Crack a joke, smile, be friendly. It can go a long way for both people. Tip number nine, the compliment. It is usually a sure sign on both sides of the spectrum when somebody gives you a compliment. I mean, when you think about it, when someone compliments you, it's a sure sign of admiration and respect. Of course, this doesn't mean every compliment means it's a sign someone's flirting with you, but if the context is right, it could certainly mean so. If a guy compliments your hair, how good you look, or anything else that is appropriate, of course, then this is a safe way to confirm this guy is interested in you. Or maybe he's just respecting you hardcore. But he, I don't, but I don't know. You, you tell me. And tip number 10, the final tip, ladies, is he tries to make you laugh. Guys who try to make you laugh usually come off as either really awkward but trying or super confident in what they're doing. All depending on how compatible both your humor and the guy's humor is can certainly be an indicator of flirting. Speaking of jokes, has anyone laughed yet? Ew, gross! Oh, come on! It was a joke! It was a joke. <sighs> Besides, I already got an amazing girlfriend. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need you. But anyways, ladies, those are the tips I could put together for you in this video on flirting. But remember that context is everything, and as long as you put in a little effort as well, when someone you like is flirting with you, the outcome can certainly be a happy one. And if you don't like them, well, get out of there! Hey guys, I hope you all did enjoy that animation. It took a lot of work and a lot of research, but I hope you did find these tips helpful. And while you're here, if you don't mind me suggesting, I would love for you guys to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I would respect you so hardcore! Did I mention that every weekend, I choose one of you guys following me on my social medias for a chance to win some free Fear Razor merchandise? As you can see on my right here, my slightly strange but handsome devil of a creator is showing off some of the few designs we got on the store. So be sure to follow me to get your chance and to also check out the store if you'd rather just grab some fine looking merchandise right now. Who's a good boy? Who's a good- who's a, who did a good job? Who- who's showing off some of that Fear Razor merch? You are- you- you want a treat? You want a treat, boy? You, here you go, have a treat. You promised me $30. Uh... AWAY, DEMON! Oh, come on! Alright guys, well that's all for now. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, take care.